I know Memorial Day is still a few days away, but the recognition will be going on all weekend long, so I just thought I'd share a few thoughts ahead of time. Now through Monday, there will be a lot of reminders, flowers brought to military graves, flags unfolded and displayed, patriotic performances. This federal holiday first began in the 1860s as a remembrance of those lost in the Civil War. It evolved as a day, a decoration day, that would honor all who gave their lives in the service of their country. It was finally officially recognized as Memorial Day in 1971, and this coming Monday, it will be, once again, a day for picnics and ball games, and for all too many, the dreams for Gold Star families of what might have been. It's an all-volunteer military now. Men and women are not drafted into service. They choose to serve, to protect, and if necessary, to sacrifice their lives for this country. Those who do return too often don't find civilian life easy. Here's a thought. If you have a business, why not find a vet who needs a job and then hire them? What better way to say thank you for your service? I'm Pat McMahon.